KTV Region 10, El Dorado, West Monroe. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Andrews. Coming up on KTV E, Region 10 News at 10, coverage you can count on. While most people run away from a storm, a Region 10 man runs towards them. You will visit with him live. He's already killed like 23 people. Yeah, wreaked havoc uh, through the Caribbean and, of course, Florida maybe in the bullseye again, mm. but that's still a little early people. to tell. That's, uh, of course, we had Charlie, we also had Francis. And we also have someone in the uh, studio that uh, has actually been Storm through chaser. Francis. Yes, Scott Blair, senior majoring, majoring in meteorology at uh, ULM joins us. Scott, uh, thanks for coming by this evening. And I uh, understand you have some video for us that we're going to take a look at here in just a little bit. And uh, I know a lot of people, you know, they get hurricanes coming out and they run. But uh, you run towards them. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's right, uh, Tom. It, it's really the ultimate adventure in meteorology as a student to be able to actually go out in the field and see these dangerous storms firsthand. Uh, as you can see here, just tremendous waves, hard to stand. Uh, quite an unbelievable sight. And where exactly were you in Florida when you took this uh, video? We were in Fort Pierce, Florida. For the most part, we were actually on the barrier island, so we were getting the full force of winds. And then later on, we came into the mainland. But uh, just unbelievable damage and destruction that we were seeing through the Fort Pierce area. Yeah, and we're looking at a little bit of it there, including you. Now, do you ever uh, feel like you're in danger of being injured or killed when you're out there? Well, no, we always have a real heightened awareness of, of exactly what's going on and what our dangers and, and, and threats are. So we really are never in a, and put ourselves in a dangerous area that may, you know, cause us harm. So really never scared, really never in a dangerous point. That's uh, definitely a good thing. And uh, I understand, too, you were down there for other reasons just besides having fun because I used to do some storm chasing out in Texas and Oklahoma so tell us a little bit about that too. That's right we also were able to deploy two meteorological towers that were equipped full of wind instruments and pressure and dew point sensors and that will really help us hopefully get a good idea of what goes on inside these hurricanes. And uh, what do you hope to uh, learn from some of the data that you gathered? Well hopefully we can do you know uh, numerous studies including boundary layer studies and actually uh, uh, different wind field studies uh, associated with these landfalling systems. So a lot of good data received through Francis, and hopefully we'll get some with Ivan as well. I was just going to say, are you going back uh, to try to greet Ivan? It looks like that might be the case. Looks like uh, possibly some areas of Florida might be seeing us real soon. Okay, well, I uh, hope you have a great trip, and uh, best of luck to you. Be very careful. Thanks for stopping by, Scott. Thank you, Tom. All right. And uh, take a look, too, at our Tell Me Tom question.